So it looks like it was shot through the chest and nearly died instantly. Now I gotta move it back up the hill for the coyote to eat it. There's a coyote passing by. So I left and I saw the coyote went from, let me get the camera correct, and going from there, walking all the way, took a piss right there though, walking all the way there and just jump right over that wall. That's a probably a six, five foot wall. Just jumped like a cat. That's insane. I didn't know coyote can just jump. And then we got this rabbit. I think, I believe what happened was the coyote went over there and somehow got the rabbit fled from that region over here and I just shot it right there right in the chest so now I have to bring the rabbit well what happens is you see all this this is all rabbit poop I think my dog has been eating this rabbit poop you think it was a dog food it was not dog food so anyways it's a good thing I get rid of this rabbit my neighbor's yard my neighbor sold their house, and uh, my last neighbor, we hung together on this hill because they moved away, and we got a rabbit move in, and this is the rabbit. It's been pooping on my yard. It's been pooping on my yard. You can see where the entry wound is. It's pretty good. It's a fairly good-sized entry wound. So we get this rabbit all the way back up the hill. Make sure the coyote's not around. The coyote hates people. Make sure nothing's around. Came over here. Dump the rabbit. Put a rabbit back up the hill. That's where the rabbit is gonna be. Okay, going back. Back down. Finally get rid of that rabbit. Got poop. Thousands of poop throughout this entire yard. It's the rabbit ate all the vegetations. There's no uh Go this. Go this poop. And my dog just keeps eating it. It really pissed me off. Look at that. Look at all this rabbit poop. It attracts the coyote over here. So now I deliver the rabbit to the coyote. So this way, the coyote won't come by as much. I also shot the coyote in the last video or a few videos. Could be the last video if I upload this correctly. It's not uploaded yet. But if you've seen this video, it's already uploaded. And this, that urine right there, that's coyote urine. I gotta water it down so my dog don't think it's something. It looks like it's a male coyote, just the way it pees. So, look how thick that urine is. Hard to get rid of. The yellow spot right there. Okay. Get rid of the blood. I think that's it. That's it for today. There's that rabbit next to this peanut butter. It was killed right there, about 10 yards away. That's 25 yards. And the coyote should pick it up later today. Or eagles and coral, we have a lot of those. My beautiful tree. Love this tree. This rabbit, among some other few rabbits, has been pooping all over my yard. Look at all that poop on the ground.
thousands of hoops. It has to die. I just shot him upstairs with this Gimel Fusion 22. Make sure it's dead. I think she'll be a straight head shot. Yep, it's a straight head shot through the brain. Okay, blood's everywhere. I'm gonna pick up this rabbit and bring all the way up the hill for the coyote to eat tonight. So, just shot this rabbit. The blood's still fresh. Straight to the brain. And put it up in the hill for the coyote to pick up tonight. Hopefully the coyote will come. So this will be the second rabbit. Most likely I will group into the same video. So let's take a look where I left its body. Up there. It was still bleeding. As you can see the shovel. Straight, a hole straight between two eyes. Dropped the rabbit fairly quick. Maybe struggle for like a five seconds. After the brain got blew out. Pest control complete. So I replenish with uh, peanut butter. I have a um, three three year old expired peanut butter. It still looks good. It smell funky, but I just decided to put it on the hill. I wrapped the peanut butter in the yellow truck, in the bed of yellow truck, in the bed of the red truck, and then on the hood of the green truck, in the bed of the green truck. Also, I went ahead and rub all over the helmet inside outside the rats would love it and put the rest of the jar which is almost empty on there the goal of this one is hoping i can uh <coughs> i can go ahead and shoot a few pellets through it create a smell to attract the rotten and there's no pe there's no actually peanut butter or sunflower seed this time it's the old expired peanut butter this might work out better what i'm going to do is put some holes through this peanut butter with my gamble rifle see if we can create some holes and generate some smells for the rotten okay it's focused still a few shots because things keep moving out the out the range it's 25 yards away so to get this thing on this type of focus, it's a little hard the, on the single pot. I think that's good. Okay, I'm gonna try that. First shot. That was a pretty good damage. You see the peanut butter sprayed out? It's really cool. Let's try another one by the label. I'm not sure exactly where that one landed. Maybe the lower side. Okay, I need to aim up higher a little bit to compensate the bullet drop. Okay, let's hit the right side a little bit more. I'm not sure, I might just keep hitting the same spot. It's hard to say. Look pretty good. Just a little bit. Too high. Zoom out a little bit. Try again. I think that was a drug hit. Looks pretty good. I think those holes will do. How many shots I fired? 10 shots. Perfect. 